Let's say you have finished your bachelor's in computer science, for example, and now you are confused between three options. So should you join a startup or should you join a big company, service-based company like Thesis, Infosys, if you are in India, or should you go to US or Australia for pursuing your master's? I have been living in US for last 13 years. I have so many friends who came here for master's and my brother has a startup. I have worked for big companies and small companies. So based on these experiences, I'm going to give you a very practical, honest advice on what you should do. Let's first compare joining startup versus a big company. I will give you an example of Karandeep, who is a good friend of mine, who works for my brother's company, Atlic Technologies. So Karan graduated from same college as my college. He's, he's from my college basically in Gujarat, India. And that college is called DDIT, which is one of the top universities in, in the state of Gujarat. So of course, he was getting offers from big companies. There were companies like Microsoft, Amazon, big companies come for a college placement. But Karan joined my brother's company, which my brother's company at that time was like 20 people company and he did an internship and he learned that by joining a small company he's gonna learn a lot of diverse skills so he decided to join the startup instead of joining a big company and after he joined he learned a lot of skills like he learned how to even communicate with clients you know coding was his main role but then he learned to communicate with client see small companies have a lot of issues the process are, processes are not defined. There are a lot of problems. So if you become part of the solution, see, the mistake people make is they become part of a problem. They say, oh, this company doesn't have this good. The processes are not defined. There is a problem in communication and so on. But all small companies, like when especially they are small, they become big at some point. But when they are small, they face through, they face all these issues. And if you become part of the solution then there are a couple of benefits you learn a lot of diverse skills you get promoted easily so what happened with Karan is Karan was quickly promoted as a, a software engineering manager and then he showed uh, accountability on all the fronts and he performed to a level that my brother gave him a partnership in the company so Karan is 23 year old right now as of recording of this video he's an engineering manager he's looking at so many things in that company at Lake technologies i'm going to provide by the way current link then in video description below so if you want to talk with him go ahead i he, he's a very helpful person so overall by joining the startup what you get is you know you you might hit a lottery like current like right now that company has like 55 people is growing at a very rapid scale and uh, current is a partner he's one of the you know key member in the team so when you join a startup you learn a lot of diverse skills i know not all the startups are going to be successful even if the startup is a failure you will still learn a lot of uh, important diverse skills which will be hard to learn in a big company let's say you join a big company tcs infosys whatever then these companies have like 400,000 employees so sometimes you know you might get lost in a crowd you will not get enough responsibilities now if you join a very good team for which you have to be lucky of course then yeah you can learn those skills in big companies as well but you know it's all about probability so probability wise joining a big company is you will not be able to learn diverse skills and when i say diverse skill what i mean is not just coding you know like client communication improving the processes being part of hiring for example karan is part of the hiring team at atlic and he's also a college ambassador so when the company goes for the interviews in different colleges he will manage the whole event so you learn even event management skills so the overall conclusion is while you are young you should learn your focus should be to learn diverse set of skills you know in to grow the career only technical skills are not sufficient you know if you want to do big things in life you need to focus on your soft skills and the soft skills 
will be improved if you join a startup if you join a big company of course you know if you want to just join a big company be in the corporate company for your entire life then yeah go for a big company you know you have secure job all of that but if you have little adventure in you i would suggest join a startup now let's compare doing master versus doing a job so let's say you're thinking of doing masters in usa or let's say your dream is to migrate to australia canada usa just for the quality of life you want to live your life in these countries then yes master is the best option let's say if you want to come to us for example in as of 2021 master is the best option option to come to us and that's probably true for many different countries as well so yeah if you want to migrate to foreign country live your life there then go ahead with your masters but you need to keep certain things in mind that it has some social implications so let's say you are the only child of your parents and you want to take care of your parents then don't come here because once you come to this country once you get a job home you know you will be stuck in the life people say okay i will spend 5 years and come back bullshit like no 99% of people they don't do that so if if your thinking is clear okay due to my social situation long term i want to live in my my own country then forget about masters option you know people they don't go back period like the this is the this is the truth so then you can find opportunities in your own country for example india has so many good companies so many opportunities so many startups so if your social situation doesn't permit you then stay in your country if your social situation is such that yeah you can come to this country of course when you come to masters here if you do master from good university you will get an opportunity to work in um big companies you know and you will learn a lot of things i have been living in us for what like 13 years now i have learned so many things i have uh met amazing people i have worked in product companies but my social situation was such that i mean for me it was okay you know to come here another thing i would ask you to analyze is do you have any entrepreneurship dreams let's say you want to start your own business you know after 5 years 10 years it, you know you have to look at your own personality your goal like who you are long term let's say i want to have my own business i don't want to do job for my entire life if that is the case then don't come to us us immigration system in terms of h1b's like i'm living here in this country for 13 years i don't have my green card yet there are people like so most of the time if let's say you are from india or china if you come to us it will take minimum okay minimum 10 years to get your green card so let's say you come here at the age of 21 if you are lucky you will get your green card at 31 maybe you will get your green card at 35 by that time you are married you have kids you have home you have so much liabilities you are getting older you have lost all your energy and passion done entrepreneurship dreams are over period very practical advice based on you know my own experiences talking to so many people if you have entrepreneurship dreams coming to us is not advised yeah if you are from countries like bangladesh pakistan these countries have uh less you know they issue green card every year like they have a fixed per country quota so if you are from pakistan nepal bangladesh you will get your green card in 2 to 3 years then is fine and once you have a green card then only you can do a business on your, on h1 you can't do a business so you need to take care of that aspect so overall think about your social situation do you have entrepreneurship dreams what is what is your short term goal as well as long term goal and based on that make a decision i hope you find this video useful if you want to talk to karan his linkedin profile is in video description below he can give you a lot of advice on joining startup versus a big company and if you have any other question 
post in a comment below i will try to answer i generally try to answer all the questions which are posted in like first two days or so thank you very much goodbye and i wish you all the best